Beloved, welcome to Eagle's Eyes, a prophetic end time show of dreams and visions, declaring the soon coming appearance of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and what we must do to prepare. I'm Janine Fox, and today we have a very special alert. I'll call it an emergency alert because of a dream I had this week. And here's the dream. I had a dream that I was standing in a large room with no furniture, looking out of a great big window. As I looked out of the window, I was alerted that the rays of the sun coming from outside were beaming down on the wooden floor that I was standing on. As I looked on the floor, I saw rays, the sun's rays spread out just like a hologram or um, in America we had an advertisement for oranges called sun kissed <laughs> and it was the emblem of a of like a orange with rays. I saw rays like a sun kissed going out a circle in rays. I said, this is very unusual for the sun to protrude into the house and show it's the sun's rays on the ground. What is going on? So I ran to the window. As I ran to the window, it was so light. I couldn't see out. I immediately ran outside. And beloved, as I ran outside on a very beautiful, sunny blue sky day i saw two full moons gigantic two full moons one on the left and one on the right shining to full capacity in a day sky i mean that doesn't happen now i don't know if you remember one of my old eagle's eyes alerts that we did a program that i saw three full moons in the sky and then i saw the big destroyer planet that looked like a big sun an orange sun that was going to destroy the earth coming down they call it nibiru they call it warm wood i don't you can call it whatever you want to but the destroyer planet coming down that was in many broadcasts to go this time i saw two full moons one on the left one on the right and as i looked almost in the middle to the right there was the big Nibiru planet. It was coming to Earth. It was coming down very slowly, and those were the rays that were coming down onto the floor. Immediately, I knew the Lord was coming. There was a knowing. No one could tell me. There was a heightened sense. I knew, I knew that Jesus was coming right then and there. And as I began to look at the clouds above, they began to part. And that is when Jesus comes on the scene. When those clouds begin to part, they all started dissipating and just, slowly coming apart and I knew that the Lord Jesus Christ was coming down any second. I began to run into the courtyard onto the grass outside the house. Jesus is coming! Jesus is coming! Jesus is coming! Jesus! Jesus! As the moons begin to move slowly and I'm running after the moons and the, the planet is coming down to the earth. Jesus! And I know that any second the Lord is about to pierce the eastern sky and come down and he's going to raise his hands and millions of people around the world. Hallelujah. Going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah. The event is called the Harpazo. Another name we call it is the rapture. But Harpazo is a Greek word for the catching up of the resurrection of the dead. When the dead in Christ rise first and we who are alive and remain are caught up to be with the Lord, to meet the Lord in the air. And this is what the body of Christ has been waiting for for years, for this event. This is the foundation of our faith. This is the great expectation of our faith to see Jesus. When Jesus comes and takes us out of this world, hallelujah, to deliver us from the wrath to come. You see, he tells us that his children are not suffered to wrath. Amen. And he's pulling us out. Yes, he is. He's pulling us out like he pulled Noah out. He's pulling us out like he pulled Lot out. The tribulation cannot come until he takes his bride out. And that is what this NWO is waiting for, this great depopulation around the world. And this is why the war, war, wars are occurring for depopulation, to bring a new reset, which is the tribulation period. And the Bible tells us that that's going to be the worst period on the earth. Beloved, it's not going to be a new utopia. It's going to be a time of destruction, famine, death, beyond what the world has ever imagined, and hell on earth. And so we're, we're at that point right now. So as I'm screaming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, 
Jesus, Jesus. I'm looking for him to come down as the clouds are parting. I'm waiting for him to come any second. All of a sudden, people start coming out of their houses. They hear me screaming and they start coming into the courtyard looking up saying, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. And people gather around in a group and I tell my spiritual son, you see, you see those two moons? I've always heard that people who have dreams, who have to see two moons, they say, as soon as you see those two moons, it means the Lord is coming right now. And my spiritual son said, very interesting. Well, we knew Jesus was coming and all of a sudden there was a split frame. It's like everything froze as we're looking. Everything froze. The, the moon stopped, the sun stopped, everything stopped, almost giving us a second to do whatever we need to do. And I felt the Holy Spirit say, be about your father's business. Occupy until I come. Do what you're supposed to be doing. Be found doing my will when I come. So we all decided, okay, we're supposed to be going to a mission. We're not going to just stand here and look in the sky for Jesus to come. We're going to be about the Father's business. We're going to go on our mission. There were about 10 white vans all jumped in those vans. Each van represents a church, Christian charity. Those vans represented organizations, churches, Christian organizations. And since I'm not the pastor of a church here, I'm in a church. I jumped in the van. I was looking for my van and there it was the first one. I jumped in the van and I asked the driver before I jumped in the van, I said, are we ready to go? And he looked at me, he represents an angel and he said, we're ready. And as I jumped in that van, the door began to close and I woke up. Now I knew I would never have the opportunity to get to that crusade or evangelistic outreach because there wasn't enough time but we decided we were going to be found driving down the highway anyway we're going to be found on the road and beloved this is an alert to how soon the coming of the lord is i'm not giving a date or an hour i'm not giving a date or a time i'm telling you that the lord said it's a now we're in the now season any day, any moment, any time, the Lord can pierce the eastern sky. He's coming. He wants to encourage his bride. He's coming now. I believe he's coming this year, 2022. I won't give a date in 2022, but I believe the Lord is coming this year. And I believe the Lord is saying, this is your last time to witness. This is your last time to do whatever I've told you to do, because I am coming sooner than later, sooner than you think. I'm coming before the nuclear bombs hit. I'm coming before destruction comes. I'm coming to pull my bride out of harm's way. And we all can look at the news and see that we're on the verge of World War III. It's already started. We, many people have seen visions that the Lord pulls his bride out at the beginning of World War III. And we know that the Lord has promised that he's taking his people out of harm's way. That's what rapture harpazo means, pulling us out of harm's way. So beloved, there's one more thing I want to say before I close. And that is not only were those vans just transportation vehicles to get us to a crusade, but prophetically, that was the rapture van. When I woke up and I meditated on it, the Lord began to tell me that the van you were in was the rapture van. You actually got into the rapture vehicle. And as that door was about to shut, we would have found ourselves flying up in the air in that van on the way to heaven. So beloved, that's how much time is left. We're now entering the vehicle. The, the trumpet is about to sound. Jesus is ready to pierce the eastern sky. There's an earthquake that's gonna happen around the world. There's a nuclear event that's gonna happen. It's causing Jesus to come out of his chambers, hallelujah. And the father's gonna say, go get your bride. And Jesus is coming down. The sky is about to part. And we are gonna see our beloved Jesus and those who are ready are gonna meet him in the air. Now, my beloved, my question today is, are you ready? Are you ready to meet Jesus? Are your garments white? Are they spotted? If they are, you still have time to repent. Repentance is the answer. Repentance gets us in a right position with God and turn, turn from wickedness, turn from your wicked ways. Call upon Jesus. If you don't know him, ask him to be the, your Lord and savior because in the tribulation, you will not have time to do that. In the tribulation, it's the worst time in history. You do not want to be caught here when the Holy Spirit leaves. And I also want to tell you that Jesus is not only coming, but he loves you. Amen. And he gave me this dream today because he wants you to know the time is short and we're seconds away from the coming of the Lord. Well, beloved, I thank the Lord for giving me this dream. I know it was a confirmation dream of his coming because we've all been discouraged and, and long waiting for his coming. And he gave me this dream to let me know how close it was. I pray this dream has ignited your faith, has alerted you, has encouraged you, and has set you on fire to tell other people about Jesus and to send this message out as far as you can. 
that Jesus is coming now in this now season. Last year, God gave me a dream. He called me on a red telephone and said, the bridegroom comes, go out to meet him. I finally understand that the Lord was giving me one year and a few months to the coming of the Lord. It's been one year and just maybe two months since he gave me that dream. And the dream still stands. I'm going to close with what he told me to tell the body of Christ. The bridegroom comes, go out and meet him. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. Like, share, subscribe to our FGM TV network and tell somebody else that the bridegroom is coming. I love you. God bless you. And shalom.